Hello, veteran 0 and 2 in here. Welcome back, and we are replaying Final Fantasy IV. In the last episode, we started out exploring the final dungeon of the game. We fought some enemies. I almost died a couple times. We fought the uh, the White Dragon. Got the Morasume for Edge. And now we're gonna fill out the rest of this map here. I think pretty close. There we go, B1 map complete, and we get 10 high potions. Wow, that's a lot of high potions. I'll probably never use them. All right, this guy, this guy again. So yeah, this could be dangerous. Let me see if I can get flare on this fucking guy. Not flare, but uh, stop, I should say. If I can get stop on this guy, we might be good. Yeah, that's that nasty beam attack. work no effect damn okay well I guess I'm just gonna start throwing holy spells at this guy and the slow spell and yeah he's gonna do flamethrower and that's gonna hurt ow son of a bitch I forgot what I did to beat this guy before. What is he susceptible to? Not stop. I know he's weak to lightning, and what the fuck? What did I do to beat this guy before? I can't even remember. Ow. Way too much HP. You need to die! Come on! Are you shitting me? You've got to be shitting me. How the hell do you miss? Well, we got him. Whatever. What a pain in the ass battle. Wow, I got a second poison axe now. Thanks a lot, game. What are those things? This, this is going to bother me until I look it up. I'll be right back. Well, that was bullshit. The only thing I found out about it is that it's not immune to slow and sap. That's it. Otherwise, it said if you use magic attacks on it, it counters that, I guess. I don't know. I seem to do okay with magic attacks. So whatever. Maybe I should have used, uh, used Blink in that battle. Maybe that's what my problem was. Should've used more blink. Alright, this guy shouldn't be a problem. It's just one of them, so not a big deal. Uh, in case I didn't mention in the last episode, these blue dragons can drop dragon whiskers, which is a really good whip for Rydia. Does extra damage to giant type enemies.
Yay. I hate it when they miss. That's really annoying. That is so annoying. As you can see, this guy is too hard. The stop spell is extremely nice. It's also extremely nice when Kane and Cecil can actually hit the enemies that we're fighting. Alright, anyways, where were we? Oh yes, going this way. Big secret passage at the end of it. There's a chest with a flame whip. This is a whip for Rydia that's fire elemental. Does have a chance of paralyzing enemies. It sucks. I don't like it. Holy crap. Alright, those armored fiends are freaking annoying. I mean, they're not really that hard. And one thing I did find out, uh, they only counter magical type attacks. They don't counter physical attacks. So... Just use physical attacks on them, put blink on your entire party if you can. And you should be able to if you gave Rosa Omnicast- Blah, what am I saying, Omnicasting? Yeah. Yeah, if you gave Rosa Omnicasting, you should be able to put blink on your party very easily. Yeah, I know that's a repeat enemy, but I felt like showing it. Fairly easy battle. Eh. Up we go. Yikes! I don't like those armored fiends. Sometimes they self-destruct when you use magic on them. God, I'm sick. I'm just gonna show it. I'm just gonna show it. I'm gonna show the bullshit. I hate this guy. It seems like in my other LP I never ran into this guy. Like, hardly ever, but now I'm running into him every fucking time. Damn. Talk about annoying. Yeah, I want to blink on my party. And I'm going to use the upgrade Berserk Haste combo with Edge. That should deal the most damage. Hopefully. Grrr. You and that stupid fucking flamethrower attack. God, that's annoying. Um, yeah, Berserk. That's annoying too. Bullcrap. Yeah, there we go. No, quit doing that fucking flamethrower shit. 
Man, if I could only put Berserk on this guy. That's all I ask for. Just Berserk on this guy. I can't even tell if you missed there. Shell, maybe? So it doesn't do that much damage? That's an annoying battle. It really is. They can drop Black Tails, by the way. I can't remember what that is, but it's onion equipment for... I think it's like the onion gauntlets, which aren't really that good. In fact, the only onion equipment that's actually worth anything in this game is the onion shield because there's better alternatives. Pretty much the adamant arm armor covers everything you need. Elemental resistance, status ailments, for the most part. So, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the onion equipment in this game. The onion swords are good for Cecil and Kane. Alright, B2 complete, and we get five ethers. Alright, in this chest we get a dragon shield, which is gonna make life easier for Kane. Yeah, this uh <coughs> the shield right here has primary elements. So I'm gonna give this to Kane. And then I'm going to give him better equipment, because, uh, yeah, I don't need a diamond helm anymore. And I can also equip Genji armor now, and that's better defense and magic defense. And it'll have elemental protection as well, so there you go. Eh. Ooh, alright, we got some new enemies here. We got... What are these things? You got silver dragons and gold dragons. I believe they are susceptible to stop. I wonder if death works on them. I'll try the silver. Eh, I guess not. Ow. Well, oh, actually, you know what? It's time for me to show off the Bahamut Summon. And maybe the Sulf Summon. And maybe also the, uh, the Odin Summon. Damn it, I freaking I did it again. I gotta stop doing that. Really? That's a crock. These things just die. Just die already. Thank you. Thank you for dying. Yeah, one of these times I will show off Bahamut. Want a Heavenly Wrath? Eh, who cares. Yeah, it's gonna take me many episodes to get through the final dungeon here. It's a slog. I'm telling you. It's definitely a slog. Alright, we're in the B3 area again. Already filled out the north or the southwestern part of it. 
This is the bigger part that we gotta fill out here. A lot of good dragon equipment on this floor. And a lot of dark sages too, which suck. Let me reiterate how freaking dangerous a goddamn random encounter is with three dark sages. I couldn't get Reflect off before they had already used fucking six level three elemental spells on my party and I almost died again. Yeah, that sucks. So yeah, if you have to run, just fucking run, man. Don't even worry about it. The game is designed to fucking make you hurt bad sometimes. And that's good. I like the challenge. I like the fact that it sometimes, you know, it's it's better to run. But either way, I'll be right back. All right, let's go. Let's fill out this map, get this dragon equipment that I desperately need. Well, I wouldn't say desperately need, but it, it'll definitely help. Ah! No, I don't want to do auto battle. See, I did auto battle last time and it screwed me over. Yeah. Gotta show this. Gotta show you just how dangerous this shit is. I know I have already. But this time I don't have auto battle set up with reflect. As you can see, I'm about dead. After all that bullshit. Uh yeah, I'm gonna go with the quake spell. But now we gotta reflect, we're good. Yeah, these things suck. They just suck. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> they always seem to attack more than my characters, too. I mean, Christ. Enough already with your bullshit spells. Just fucking die, piece of shit. Start dropping some fucking ribbons. Ass wipes. Alright, and we slog on through this place. And we get a whoop! Oh wait, not a whoop. We get a whoop! Secret passage! Eh. And if we come over here, we can get... The Dragon Helm! Alright, who am I giving this to? Well, if I give the, uh, dra if I, yeah, if I give this to Cecil here, because he can equip it as well. This equipment is actually meant for Kane, but Cecil can also equip it. I'll give him the Dragon Helm, that way I can give him something else, like Genji Armor, that'll help with his defense, and magic defense, so yeah, why not? And what else do I have here? Hmm. I could give him a curse ring, so he could have elemental absorption of the three primary elements. That'll lower his stats like crazy though, as you can see. But it's an option. 
you know, if you want to do that right right at this point in the game, if you want Cecil to absorb elements like crazy, then you can do that with a curse string, but I don't know. I only like to do that for a certain optional boss that I'll be showing off later on, but that's really the only time I like doing that. I just don't like the way that the stats are lowered. Plus, if you have the adamant armor, then uh, the stat gain and loss actually cancel each other out because the adamant armor raises like all your stats by like 15 or something like that. It's really, really good. And yeah, I never actually showed that off when I originally uh, Let's Played this game. And I, you know, I intended to, but for some reason I just never did. Just never got around to it. But I will this time, I promise. Alright, and in this chest we get the dragon mail. Which again, I might as well give to uh might as well give the cane here. Or I could give it to Cecil because he needs better defense. Yeah. Yeah, I guess at this point it doesn't really matter, but yeah, I'll give it to Cecil, because he needs the extra defense anyways. See, so his draw attacks. I'll eventually switch that up, but for right now, I'll just go with that. V3 map complete, and we get five X potions. Really, game, you're going to waste my time with one of these guys. Yeah, Ed, she takes a pounding from those frickin' spells, man. Even with decent equipment, he still has craptacular magic defense. Alright, and in this chest we get the Dragon Gloves, which I guess I'll just give to Kane. Yeah, they're better. Might as well, right? Just gotta walk all the way back now. Maybe I should bring the map up. That, that way at least I can see where I'm going. Come on, man. Let me through. Oh, where the fuck is it? It's over here. Okay. I just didn't go far enough. Alright. B4 area. And of course, we're gonna... God, I don't want to fight this guy. Alright, this seems like a logical place to end it. That's all for this episode of this replay of Final Fantasy IV. In the next episode, we're gonna continue exploring the lunar subterranean. And, uh, yeah, we're on the B floor. B floor? B4 area. So uh, we'll explore that in the next episode. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.